Hello class 6, I hope you all are doing well. So through this video, I am going to uh, explain the second part of this chapter. Okay, and the chapter name is Word Processor Tabular Presentation. Okay, so here in this video, I will explain about how can we format a table. Okay, so now let's start. So first of all, what is the meaning of formatting? Okay, so the meaning of formatting is to change the appearance of any object. Okay, and if we talk about the uh, formatting a table, so that means we are going to change the appearance of a table. Okay, so in general, the meaning of formatting is to change the appearance of any object okay and by formatting we can uh, make that object more attractive okay so here uh, we have the topic that is formatting a table so that means we are going to change the appearance of a table that means we are making that table more attractive and useful okay so now let's start so formatting controls overall appearance of a table Okay, after creating a table, we can format the entire table by applying various styles, changing row height, column width, splitting and merging cells, applying borders and shading, etc. Okay, so these all are the operations of formatting, like changing row height, uh, column width, splitting and merging cells, okay, applying borders and shading. Okay, so next one is a table can be formatted by using the table styles gallery. Okay, so now we can understand it the use of table styles gallery by uh, means uh, practically. Okay, so now suppose that this is the table. Okay, we have a table like this. Okay, and I want to uh, change uh, the appearance of this table by the help of a table styles gallery. Okay, so for doing that, first of all, we have to select this table. Okay, so uh, simply we can see this is the uh, table handle. This is the table handle and simply click on it. Whenever you click the table handle, then the whole table will be selected. So whenever the table has selected, we can observe at the top, there is uh, a group of table tools appearing, okay? That is containing uh, two uh, menus here, okay? The first one is design tab and the second one is layout tab, okay? So we can observe uh, whenever we are selecting the table, we will get two tabs inside the tab table tools group that is design and second one is layout okay so simply click the uh, design tab okay after selecting the table click the design tab and now we can observe here this is the table styles group okay and this table styles group is containing so many table styles okay we can observe these all are the different type of styles which are present in the table styles gallery okay select anyone whatever which uh, you want to use which style you want to use in your table you can select that okay so suppose that i'm selecting this one okay now just observe the changes into the table okay so that means the meaning of table style is uh, table style uh, is an inbuilt facility to change the appearance, color, and borders of a table, and we can observe that by this example. Okay. Next formatting feature is changing row height. Okay. So now I will show it practically now. Say uh, this is the table. Okay, and I want to change the row height of any row from this table okay suppose i want to change the uh, height of this row okay so you have to select this whole row okay so i'm just going to select this one the row has selected now okay then right click above the above this row okay and go to the table properties option okay so whenever we right click above this selected row a shortcut menu will be appear and this shortcut menu is containing the table properties option okay simply click on it 
so this is the table properties dialog box okay and we can observe uh, many tabs are appearing here like table tab row tab column tab cell tab okay so because i am going to change the row height so for that i am selecting the row tab okay so here we can observe uh, one option is appearing here that is of specify height okay click the checkbox and now we can increase the height of this selected row okay simply click the increase button and now i am just making the changes here suppose i uh, have set the height of this row as 3 cm okay then click the ok now just observe the change here okay the height of this selected row has changed into 3 cm okay so that is the way by which we can uh, change the height of any row okay next one is changing column width the next formatting feature is changing column width okay so for that again first of all uh, select the column of which uh, you want to change the width okay suppose that i am changing the width of this math column okay now simply select the uh, column okay uh, then again right click above the selected column then again we will get the shortcut menu okay and from here choose again the table properties option okay again we will get the table proper properties dialog box okay so this time because we are working with column so that's why we will choose the column tab okay and here we can observe one option is appearing that is preferred width okay now again we can change the width of this column suppose that i am making that 50 percent okay and click the ok button now just observe the change here okay the width of this math column has changed according to our setting okay so this is the way by which we can change the uh, row height and column width of any uh, row and column in a table okay next formatting feature is splitting cells okay so first of all the meaning of splitting is uh, splitting a cell means dividing the selected cell into separate cells okay so just again understand it practically so here we can we all know that first of all what is cell so cell is the intersection of row and column okay so here we can say the box in any table is called cell okay so here we can see this is the cell this is also cell this is also cell okay so the meaning of splitting is to divide the cell into multiple cells okay so for that what can we do first of all select the cell uh, which you want to split okay suppose that i want to split this cell the uh, the cell which is containing 20 okay so select the cell then click the layout tab from here we can observe uh, here under the table tools layout tab is there click on it okay so whenever we click the layout tab we can see one group is appearing that is merge group okay and this merge group is containing split cells option okay or we can say a split cell uh, cells uh, button okay simply click on it so whenever we click the split cells button we will get a split cells dialog box okay and here we can see two options are coming first one is number of columns and second one is number of rows okay so means here we have to define the number of columns and number of rows on which we are dividing that cell okay so suppose i am typing here two rows and two columns okay and click the ok button now we can observe here this uh, cell is divided into two column and two rows 
okay so that is the way by which we can divide or split any cell in a table okay second one is merging cells okay so the next feature is merging cells so this meaning uh, the, the meaning of this merging is merging the cell means combining the cells into single cell that means we can combine multiple cells into a single cell that is merging okay means both splitting and merging are opposite of each other the meaning of splitting is dividing and the meaning of merging is combining okay so now again just understand it practically suppose that i want to merge two uh, these two cells okay cell number 1 cell number 2 okay so first of all we have to select the both cells which we want to merge okay click the first one and hold down the shift key and the second one okay now both uh, cells have selected okay then click the layout tab then in the merge group click the merge cells option now we can observe both cells has merged now okay so this is the process of merging the cell okay the next forwarding feature is applying borders and shading okay so we can enhance the appearance of a table by applying a variety of borders and shading styles okay so the meaning of shading is to fill the color uh, into the uh, any row or column or in the whole table okay so we can use the shading uh, option for that okay so now just understand it practically again we can change the borders of this table by performing some steps okay the first step is select the whole table by the table handle okay so this is the table handle we can observe here this is the table handle at the uh, left corner of this table okay select a uh, click on it the whole table will be selected then click the design tab okay and here we can see uh, one group is appearing that is of borders group and this borders group is containing so many options by which we can change the border of this table okay suppose uh, for example border styles pen color okay uh, line weightages borders okay uh, border uh, painter so these all are the options by which we can change the borders of this table okay suppose that the first one is border styles click on it and here we can see so many uh, border styles are appearing here okay so select any one suppose that i am choosing this one okay next one is uh, we can see uh, here uh, that is the line weightage is appearing okay means the width of line okay so from here we can change that suppose i am changing that into uh, 1.5 pt okay then one more option is appearing there that is the pen color pen color option is used for changing the border color border line color okay click on it this is the color palette that will be appear and select the color suppose that the color is red okay next one is uh, click the borders uh, button or border option okay and we can get so many sub options uh, from this borders okay and click the all borders option from here okay now observe here we can see the color the style the uh, the width of the uh, line of this uh, table the borders of this table has changed okay the next one is if you want to fill any color inside any column inside any row or inside any cell okay so we can do that simply the steps are first of all click the row where you want to fill the color okay suppose that this is the row where i want to fill the color select the whole row and again click the design tab okay and here we can see one option is appearing that is shading option okay click on it and from the color palette select any color for filling purpose okay suppose that i am choosing the yellow color okay so we can observe that yellow color has filled here yellow color has filled here okay 
suppose that i want to fill the color in a particular cell okay so for that what we have to do simply click on the cell where you want to fill the color okay again design tab then shading and this time suppose i am choosing the green color so now we can observe the green color has filled inside this particular cell okay so that is the use of shading okay so these are the steps by which we can change the borders as well as we can fill the color inside a table okay next forwarding feature is resizing tables okay so we can increase or decrease the size of table manually by using the table resize handle but word word also offers ready made solutions to resize the table resizing of a table can be done by the auto fit option that offers flexibility to automatically resize the column width based on the different criteria okay so auto fit option provides us three sub options for resizing the table the first one is auto fit contents second one is auto fit window and the third one is fixed column width okay so the first one is auto fit contents okay so it adjusts the column width according to the data entered okay so just understand it practically okay suppose that this is the table and we want to resize it autom automatically using the uh, auto fit contents option okay so first of all select the whole table okay then click the layout tab and here we can observe cell size group is containing auto fit option okay so whenever we click the drop down arrow of this auto fit option so we will get the three sub options of resizing the table okay the first one is auto fit contents okay simply click on it and now just observe the change okay now we can see the size of table automatically adjust okay according to the uh, data which has entered inside this table okay the second sub option of auto fit option is auto fit window okay so auto fit window means selecting the this option will adjust the table according to the margins set on a window okay so just understand it practically suppose this is the table okay select the whole table and click the design tab sorry layout tab and click the auto fit option okay in the cell size group okay and this time select the auto fit window okay now just observe the change the size of table has automatically adjust according to the margin of this window okay. the third sub option of auto fit uh, means automatically resizing of table is fixed column width okay so that means if we choose this option so that means the column width gets fixed and the text is wrapped in the same cell okay just look this one okay uh, this is the table okay so select the whole table again and click the layout again auto fit and this time choose the fixed column width okay now just observe the change suppose that i am going to enter means uh, after choosing this uh, option the the width of column has fixed okay so now just simply i am just entering some data here so now the column width will not be increased okay the data will wrapped automatically we can see that the column the size the width of this column has fixed okay the data is wrapping downwards the numbers are wrapping downwards okay but the size the width of this column is fixed that is not changing that is not increasing okay so that is the use of fixed column width sub option of auto fit option that is used to uh, resize the table okay so now there are three options of auto fit 
which automatically resize the table in MS Word. Okay. The next formatting feature is alignment of table. Okay. So alignment of a table means positioning the table on a page. That means placing the table on a page in left, center and right side. Okay. So if you can see that, suppose that this is a table. Okay. First of all, select the whole table. Then click the uh, right click above the table. Okay. And we can see the, in this context menu, one option is there that is of table properties. Okay. Click on it and table properties dialog box will appear. Okay. And inside the table tab, we can see alignment option is appearing. Okay, and alignment option is displaying three options, sub options, left, center and right alignment. Okay, so if we choose the center alignment, then just take a look. The table has changed the position from left to center. Okay, again, right click above the table, choose the table properties. And again, if we choose the right alignment, then then, then the table again will change the position towards the right side. Okay. Once more, click the right click the table, then choose the table properties, and this time select the left alignment from the alignment options and click the OK. And just observe the change. The table has again changed the uh, place from right to left side. Okay, so this is the alignment of table. Next one is uh, indent. Okay, so indent refers to the spacing between the table and the page margin. Okay, so we can also indent the table from the left margin. Okay, how can we do that? Suppose that this is the table. Okay, simply right click above the table and choose the table properties and we will get uh, table properties dialog box okay and here we can observe in the table tab we can see uh, one option is appearing here that is indent from left okay so that means we are going to indent the table from left margin okay we all know that the meaning of indent is the space between page margin and table okay Suppose that uh, I'm just increasing this one or we can write type also here. Suppose I'm typing here uh, three centimeter. Okay. So that means I have uh, adjust the distance between uh, page margin and table is as three centimeter. Okay. So whenever I clicked uh, this OK button, then just observe. Okay. This is the uh, left margin and the, the distance between left margin and this table is 3 centimeter. Okay, so that is the use of indent uh, option in MS Word. Okay, next topic is calculations in a table. Okay, so we can perform calculations on the numeric data entered in a table. Okay, so how can we perform the calculation? Okay, suppose this is the table. And I want to calculate the sum of marks uh, in English. Okay. So for that, first of all, we have to choose the cell where we want to display the sum of these marks. Okay. So then click the layout tab. Then choose the formula option from data group. Okay. And here we can see automatically one formula is appearing here that is equal to sum above. Okay. And click the OK button. Now we can observe 45 is the sum of these marks. Okay. So this is the way by which we can perform calculation in a table. Okay. And the last topic of the chapter is updating calculations in a table. Okay. So sometimes we may change the data or add any new data in a table. So Word provides the facility to update the 
changes okay so to update the total sum in a table we can perform some steps okay suppose that this is the sum of these marks 45 okay and i am making changes uh, in the marks of sanjaya okay i am just making uh, these marks uh, 25 from 15 okay so now simply select the cell where the uh, simply select the total okay uh, and the cell where the total is displaying okay and press the f9 key which key f9 key okay now observe the change then automatically we can see the total uh, the sum of these marks uh, has changed according the uh, has updated according the change we have made in this in the marks of sanjaya okay so this is the way by which we can uh, update the calculations in ms word in any table okay so this is the end of chapter and uh, later i will send you the exercise of this chapter uh, thanks to everyone for watching this video